Hey YouTube, it is Friday, about 6, 37 o'clock here in Cleveland, and um, I was just thinking about some things, um, sometimes like, well I grew up in church, I don't go to church now, okay, I'm not a Christian, okay, well I'll put it this way, I don't follow Christian faith, all right uh my some of my viewpoints and spirituality has changed however i think about um every now and then you know good gospel song across my mind because like i said i grew up in church i sang in gospel choirs and think about and i think at my age too a lot of times we think about um our past uh kind of when you hit that midlife what they call midlife you begin to think about your past and how you grew up and how things are different, how so much has changed. And um, so yesterday morning I was driving and a song by Thomas Whit, I think Thomas Whitfield is his name, uh, crossed my mind. It was Hallelujah Anyhow. And it was a song that they sang at my grandmother's church. And I went to church with her from about the age of 11 to about 21 or something like that. And it had like one of the best choirs in Cleveland. If you ask me, it was the best choir in Cleveland. <laughs> Okay, so they say quite a few of the songs from um a, a few songs by Thomas Whitfield. Hallelujah, anyhow, uh, wrapped up, tied up, tangled up. For those of you who might be familiar, and you know, I just love those songs. Again, it reminds me of you know my time spent with her. It was I, I really loved going to church with her, and I uh, loved the choirs and everything. And um, I, I I still like, you know, the culture of church. Uh, I grew up in a Pentecostal church and her church was apostolic, which is kind of like Pentecostal, just some differences in doctrine. OK, but the worship experience was kind of the same. OK, but nevertheless, anyway, so I've been singing a couple of those songs for the last two days. And, you know, I was just praying and I, it just kind of came to me like moments, you know, when we had these moments and I, I just kind of like, I don't know, you know, sometimes when I do these videos, it's like, I don't know what to talk about. You know what I'm saying? So I kind of like try to stick to a particular topic. <laughs> so I do my religious, you know, series or whatever. And I was just praying about, you know, like moments, how we can, you know, in life, um, one thing I I do remember, I would hear a lot of people say, like when they would testify in church about how uh, far God has brought brought them. You know, God has brought me from a mighty long way. These are things that they would say. So I was thinking about my own life and some things that have happened to me and definitely some things that, well, I don't even want to say that happened to me in the last year, just my life period, but things that were revealed to me and then, you know, actions that I had to take based upon those revelations and, um, and not just based upon those revelations, just acts that I had to take because the things were changing, you know. And then I I am hearing rapidly, so things were kind of rapidly changing. So I had to just like move, you know, for myself, for my benefit, for for my home, for my daughter. Just and I say for my daughter, yes, for my daughter, but you know, for me, because what you know would be beneficial to me would be beneficial to her. And you know, at the same time, it's like. I was going through this thing today where I was feeling like, you know, looking at all the negative, all the negatives, you know, and it was like, there are times when, I mean, I pretty much pray all the time, you know, um, in a way, like they say, pray without ceasing. Okay. So I'm not saying I'm on my knees all the time or I'm at my altar all the time in my home praying. I just mean like in my heart, you know what I'm saying? Just, uh, just constant kind of talking to God, you know, um, and it was just one of those moments where, you know, no, I need to kind of separate myself right now and kind of get down on my knees or, or at my altar, you know, whatever, however you do it. You know, I'm just throwing that out there because I may not be on my knees praying, you know what I'm saying? But I may, but I will go to my altar at times when I really need to kind of like break away, you know, as opposed to just as, as I'm going praying. No, I just kind of need to go somewhere and focus and, you know, really talk to God. And it's kind of like, um, you know, when people do meditation, they say sit and quiet yourself. So basically like steal yourself. So it's kind of like I had to move away and steal myself. So I was thinking about the negatives, the negative, the negatives. Well, this hasn't happened, that, and that hasn't happened yet, and that hasn't happened yet. But then it just kind of hit me. However, you know, 
um, the things that uh, where I have been, you know, looking at that past, but now not looking at that past like this nostalgia and I miss it. I wish it was the same because I can do that a lot. Many of us can do that a lot. You know what I'm saying? And life changes that, you know, the only constant is change. Our lives change. And as our lives change, the world changes. It's a continuous change, you know, but we miss those things. And uh, so, but this time it wasn't a matter of me looking back um, like in that regard, missing those things and wishing those things and wishing things could be a certain way, wishing they could be like they were before, but no, it was just kind of looking like, damn, you know, God, you brought me from a mighty long way. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was thinking about, you know, I found myself saying that in other words, you know, you brought me a long way and it trumped the negative things. And sometimes it's just like, I feel like, you know, we just have to steal our, steal ourselves uh, for a moment, you know, Bec and then I realized too, it's like sometimes when we think about those negative things, you know, it, we allow it to outweigh the positive things. We allow it to outweigh or just, you know, I don't even know if I want to say allow it to, but we can allow it to. So that's why I feel like it's good to kind of, you know, pull ourselves away for a moment. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, whether you pray, whether you meditate, how, whatever works for you, whatever grounds you, whatever, you know, kind of keeps you together you know um and I, I am speaking i guess you know more from a spiritual perspective not i guess i am speaking from a spiritual perspective what keeps you grounded what keeps you uh I, i'm even here motivated but what keeps you grounded what keeps you uh solid firm you know stable within yourself within your being you know because life is an interesting thing you know but it's important to steal away to those times so that you know, we can remember and not let the, the negative things, well, I don't have this yet. I don't have that yet. How come this hasn't happened yet? Or how come that hasn't helped it happen yet? Or when I thought I was over this particular thing in my life, here, here it comes rearing its ugly head again and so on and so forth. And I'm realizing like, you know, that's just like life. It, it just is what it is, you know? And I feel like sometimes though, sometimes things may just have to cycle out, you know, maybe no, maybe it did seem like you got over a particular, you know, area of your life or a particular issue of your life. And then here it rears its ugly head again. But, it, you know, it's like maybe it has become a part of you for however long, you know, it's like a healing process. It takes time. You know, my mom was a nurse. And um, she would often share with me, like, you know, the physical healing process and how, you know, she would tell me take seven. I think she would always say seven to 10 days is the healing process. And we, we just talk about in general, like maybe a scratch or something like that, you know, and maybe like I will have a scab or something. I'm just using this as an example, something minor, because I can't think of anything specific. And I said, well, it didn't look like that yesterday. It looked like it was, you know, just about to heal yesterday. And now we kind of maybe open back up again. And she's like, that's the healing process. <laughs> You understand that's part of the healing process, you know, just let it, you know, do what it do, you know, and you'll find that it will heal. And undoubtedly, you know, it, it did. It would heal, you know. So I'm just saying that, you know, a part of our lives, that's just how life is. Sometimes those things may come back up, you know. Um, but I again, I just feel like that's part of the healing process. And it's like those are moments. Sometimes we have moments. You know, I, I was at work today and uh, the admin assistant, I was talking to her and she had a a, a flyer, you know, um, on her desk talking about, you know, what do I do when I have negative thoughts? And, you know, a lot of the things, it was all these questions. Do I this or do I that? Do I this? And do I act like or do I assume that this is going to always be this way? And it's like, no, it's not going to always be that way. You know, when we really look at it and we can look at many of the things in our lives or just look over our life and look back and say, wait a minute, I had this particular issue for however long and I don't even have that issue no more. I don't think about that anymore. It doesn't uh, bother me anymore, you know, or whatever the case may be. It's gone. 
you know, now that don't mean it ain't going to be no other issues because it is as long as we are, I feel like living this life that we are living, you know, other things are going to come up, you know, we're human, you know, and it don't nothing come up. You know? And I, I can't say that, oh, we're here for this and we're here for that. And I, I'm not here to say that, at least at this point, because I don't fully know and I'm not going to pretend like I do, you know, but I do feel like. Some, though sometimes we have to remember when we have those emotions, those negative emotions, remember that it's a moment, however long that moment might be, but it won't always be that way. So that's why I was just thinking about moments. You know, it is a moment in the, the span of our lives. It is not a forever thing, you know? So I just kind of, I don't know, I was just praying and it, that, that just came to me, moments, you know? I just kind of want to encourage encourage you because we all need encouragement i need encouragement if we are walking this earth we need encouragement and sometimes we just have to encourage ourselves i you know like i say I, I i grew up in church i went to uh protestant christian schools i had to study religion i had to study the bible <laughs> you know what I'm, well i had to study christianity when i say religion i had to study that religion i had to study the bible so a lot of times when i'm talking i'm always thinking about uh bible verses you know i'm not here to say it's this kind of book or that kind of book or we need to follow this or we need to follow no i do find that there are some wisdom, you know, in the Bible. I don't have no issue with saying that. So I was just saying that to say to, sometimes I think about that scripture where, you know, King David, it says he had to encourage himself. Sometimes we have to encourage ourselves, you know? So when you, I just wanted to say, you know, when you, and I'm not preaching at you or throwing anything at you. It's like, I'm speaking from my own experience and I realize I'm human, you know, and in my humanity, you know, you all are human too, you know, those who are watching this and that, that there is a, uh, you know, general thing that runs through all of us as human beings. So undoubtedly you have moments too, but remember like, you know, no matter how far you have come, understand that if you feel some kind of negativity or this hasn't happened, that hasn't happened, take that time to steal away to yourself, you know, to, to God, if, if that's what you do or to your meditation or whatever, or just be at peace and go within and think about those moments, you know, those things that you, that God has, you know, or, or whatever, you know what I mean? Um, those places, how far you have come in certain areas of your life. And remember that when those negative things come up, you know, that we often think, you know, it's this not good enough, that's not good enough, or how come this and how come that and why isn't, hasn't this happened yet or so on and so forth. Just think about the, the, the don't let, don't let that outweigh and take over your being and take over your mental space. You understand what I'm saying? That's what I'm trying to say. Think about the positive things. Think about how far you have come in other areas of your life, you know? <laughs> so that's just what I'm trying to say, you know, and kind of rest on that. You know, I want to say, try to be as positive as possible. You know, be, I, I can't say that we're going to be positive all the time. I don't even think that's realistic that you're going to be positive all the time because that's just not how life works. You know, we got some we got fall we got spring we got winter these things happen you know and I, I maybe sometimes the negative things come up so we can remember the positive things we can remember you know how far we have come in our life you know the, the beautiful things that have blossomed in our life and think about where we were before that thing you know that necessary thing that blossomed you know in your life think of where you were before that thing blossomed in your life and you know um I want to say too hold on as much as possible to knowing the the um the beauty that is yet to come you know and and I'm not saying that it's going to be 100% beautiful we are there is going to be you know it's it's going to be you're going to have the negative with the positive i just think that that is that is life you know i don't believe in all positive or, or, or all negative you know i, I just don't think that that's how life works. That's not how, you know, that's not even what we see in nature. And I do believe that we are nature as well, you know, in our humanity. So I hope that made sense, you know, and I just want to share that. Um, I, I get kind of shy about sharing these types of things, you know, on uh here on YouTube, you know, or, or publicly. This is, these is are the kind of conversations I would have with my mom, <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Um, but I don't, I'm not able to have those conversations with her anymore, you know, for various reasons. And that's okay, you know, be, and that's even uh, like that, for example, in my own personal life, that's actually a good thing. You know, at one point, 
And tonight I was cooking and I was thinking about this stuff. And, you know, before I went to pray and I was like, see, I would be able to talk to my mom. I would always go to my mom. I would call her on the phone and we'd have these conversations and it would really help me. But I'm not able to at this time. And um, it kind of hit me. Well, that's good. Because, you know, you need I needed to break away you know, from that space, you know, and uh, put myself in a position where I could share these things with others, you know, not just in this, you know, closed container, you know, uh, where I felt safe. And it's good to feel safe. Don't get me wrong. It's good to, uh, you know, feel safe and secure with someone. But sometimes too, and I'm, I'm speaking for me personally at this point, for me, it was just, it was a matter of, yes, but you have something to share, you know, and you should share that, you know, and as long as you stay in that encapsulated space, then you can't be used to share because that's where you feel safe. You, you feel vulnerable putting this out, something like this, you know, or your you or the things that, you know, the greater God has blessed you with to share with others, you know, you feel vulnerable putting it out there, you know, on the World Wide Web, you know, and, but it, you know, we get to these places, it, you know, get to a place where it's like, yeah, it's time to break out of that you know, and the universe, God, whatever for me, I'll I'll just say, God will put you in a position. (laughs) You understand what I'm saying? Where, okay, I done had enough of your stuff. I done told you to do this. I done told you to do that, but you just say it when it's safe. So, you know, now I'm going to split this up so you can go do, you know, what you, you, I've called you to do or asked you to do or commanded you to do or created you to do whatever, however you look at it. All right. So I hope that made sense to y'all, <laughs> you know, but I just wanted to encourage, be, you know, encourage you because I I know there are others. I know that, you know, we all have these moments where we just feel like, uh, you know, um, I'm hearing like no one's hearing me or nobody's hearing me. So maybe somebody out there is feeling like that right now. You know what I'm saying? Um, You know, or nobody understands me. I'm hearing that. So maybe someone out there is feeling that way. But I just wanted to share that message with you that, you know, understand that sometimes these things are just moments in time. They're not they're not permanent, you know. So don't allow yourself to be in a in a negative space, in a in that permanence of a negative space. One thing my mom used to say to me all the time, like a lot of times I'd call her when I was in college, I'd call her crying and feeling pit- pitiful about something. And, you know, one thing she would say to me, she, my, she shared a lot of wisdom with me. She would say, you know, um, it's okay to feel like you feel, you know, uh, but don't allow yourself to stay there because sometimes when you stay there, you know, it can, you can, it can go deeper and deeper and deeper. And it, you will find yourself in a position sometimes where it's just too hard to get out of it, you know? So as you are able, you know, uh, keep your, 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 your faith strong or, or your mind strong. And when I say faith, I don't mean religion. I'm not speaking. And even though I, I, t- I teach religion, I don't mean religion. Okay. I don't mean faith in your religion. I mean, faith in whatever, again, it is that grounds you, okay? If it's in your your own being, your higher self, God, the universe, whatever it is for you, you know, that keeps you grounded, that keeps you going. I keep hearing the word motivated, okay? So maybe someone out there that helps keep them motivated, all right? So remember, moments, they're just moments, you know? A moment may last about a week sometime, maybe longer. <laughs> you keep on getting in that place that keeps you grounded for however long that you need to. But also just remember moments and remember you're never alone. That's one thing that would help me a lot. You are never alone, even when you feel by yourself. So when I say you are never alone, even if you feel by yourself, if you feel like literally there is no one around for you to talk to, understand and know what I mean when I say we are never alone, is that you are not the only person in the world feeling this way. And I'm not saying that to diminish your feeling. I'm saying that to, for you to understand there are others that feel that way too. So you're not alone in how you feel, you know. You're not alone in that experience of that feeling of, of you know, of feeling low or whatever the case may be. You're not alone many, many others, you know, and that, that would help me, you know, not that I felt glad that other people were feeling low or anything like that. No, 
it just was like, well, I'm not by myself. Because sometimes when we, you know, we we go through these uh, low moments, we may feel like I'm the only person, not by a long shot, most definitely not. So I just wanted to share that. I hope that was helpful to someone, you know, and uh, y'all have a wonderful day. Peace.